and and talk about other things. I think at that point they figured this this is a waste of time. These people aren't interested in negotiating an end of the conflict. <clears throat> at that point, they took stock and they said, "Okay, we're we're going to strike back, but we're not going to strike back uh, in in piecemeal fashion. We're not going to launch a, a series of offensives to drive back the Ukrainians. What we're going to do is take what we." had originally thought was Russian anyway, which of course is, the people that live there are Russians in those areas, then we are going to build up for a major offensive. If if they will not cooperate, if they will not recognize the legitimacy of our position, then we will launch it and we will terminate this conflict on our terms. Well, you got to keep in mind that <clears throat> this is a theater that's almost 800 miles deep and certainly five, 600 miles wide. Uh, it's a vast area uh, that requires a lot of time to position forces, move forces. This applies to Ukrainians. It applies to the Russians. And now I think what we are on the verge of seeing is this uh, major offensive. He may actually approach the Ukrainians one more time. Uh, and then if he has no success and no one will talk, <clears throat> I think he's going to un unloose hell, frankly. And we're going to see a very different Russian military establishment doing things that, frankly, people like me and others thought they would do much earlier. But again, you know, the man did not want to kill civilians, contrary to what is said in the West. He didn't want to, to damage lots of infrastructure. His view was, we want to live with Ukrainians when this is over. So we want minimal damage. <clears throat> we want early talks and negotiations. It all failed. No longer matters. If there's no final uh, willingness to talk, then I think we will see what I and others thought would happen early on, a massive, uninterrupted, devastating assault throughout the country. Well, that's just as good as saying I'm not going to negotiate because obviously Mr. Putin isn't going anywhere and uh, the expectation that he would step aside or go somewhere else is absurd. So uh, that's, that's kind of a meaningless gesture. And I don't know why the man would say that. A very foolish position to take. It makes talks impossible. Uh, non-existent unless we employ a nuclear weapon. There is no evidence of the Russians preparing to use nuclear weapons whatsoever. No nuclear warheads in 